Harnessing the energy of the wind is really nothing new. Here in Rhode Island, they've been doing it for almost 200 years. A lot of people move yachts from here to the Caribbean or whatever by ship. That's how I get my yacht to the Caribbean. That's right. I'm so happy I could cry. From the day this starts generating power, it runs in the black. The town will be saving money. My gosh, after five years, it's going to happen. <laughs> Amazing. We got a multi million dollar organization going on here. We got to worry about the dog. <laughs> Put all that weight onto one crane. That weight transfers down into soil compression. And right here, we're on the edge of the water, so this bulkhead holding back the soil, we could bust out the shoreline. All the soil would rush out into the water. It'd be kind of a nightmare scenario. So. Marine disaster. Yeah. That's what we'd like to avoid, so. We like to frown on that. <laughs> you like to frown on marine disaster. Not today, at least. Not today. No. This is a bad time. We lost something. I don't know what. Oh. Just keeps getting better. Yeah. That's going to be a problem. The trailer can't back up. The trailer's in multiple pieces. The truck stuck in a ditch. Oh, you're going to get Relic. I uh, know, rest of no, uh... Relic's going to bring in his truck and try to pull it out. Relic's been bragging about his truck, actually, for a while. Yeah, uh, he got a real truck. He's been bragging about it. We're going to see. We're going to see. <laughs> it wasn't a good noise. Part the drive line. Stars are against us today. What's no. Struggling, struggling with this one. Brothers in arms, all waiting for the same thing. Quitting time? Yeah, right. I'm starting to think maybe you lit your cigar a little too a little soon. A little too early? Yeah. This piece here is called the nacelle, and it really houses the guts of the turbine. Even here on the ground, the rotor's being blown around pretty good. The way this rotor is specifically designed to catch the wind makes it by far the most challenging piece to lift. The main tower of this wind turbine is over 200 feet tall, and we put it up in three sections. Riley. Yeah. Hey, man. We got to put this thing up. You guys are done screwing around. Let's go. You got it, boss. Oh. Here we go. All right, let's go. You can feel it blowing on the ground, but up here at the top of the tower, it is really cooking. All right, Kay, this is the deal. I got my hand out the top of the cell here. Uh, it's kind of hard to take a reading, actually, because the snow keeps freezing the anemometer. But I'm getting uh, mid-30s pretty consistently. High gusts at 45. Thanks, Riley. 50 mile an hour gusts. There's no way we're going to lift this thing in this weather. Fifty feet shy of the lid here, and it's twisting in the wind. They're trying to hold it steady. But... Repeat. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, we didn't get nothing on the. Well, if they can't get this thing under control, they should set, set it up to set it down. It's still spinning, and that's a real pucker for everybody because if the load swings around with the wind and make contact with the boom, it could collapse the whole crane. Can you get that going? What? Hold that! Coming down, Scott. Coming down, coming down. Get your hand on that Pull this up tight. Start walking this way. Watch him. Come this way. Start walking over. It's in this one. It's in this one. Slack on that back. Loosen it. Relax. 